Good evening, Mr. Bond fans. It's been a little while since we talked about the impending release of No Time to Die on this channel, so I figured with just 10 weeks to go until the UK premiere for the fourth time, now would be a good time to do so. As at this point, presumably we're due for the promotional machine to get into gear any time now for the fourth time, or indeed we could get another announcement of a postponement for the fourth time. We've seen a few Daniel Craig interviews popping up here and there, and James King, who's hosting the official No Time to Die podcast, tweeted that he'd recently interviewed Hans Zimmer for an installment of that, and that, that podcast was going to be launching soon, so that's a cause for optimism, surely. Other big budget movies have been releasing, with Fast and the Furious 9 and Black Widow probably being somewhat comparable to Bond, and yes, I have seen Black Widow, and yes, I loved all of the Bond references, and the fact that at one point Moonraker is actually in that film just filled me with all kinds of glee. I just really hope that's not the only time I'm going to see Bond in a new release this year. But the fact that those releases have gone ahead, and there are plenty more big releases planned for the summer and the rest of the year, surely, 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 that's a good sign that No Time to Die could well end up releasing in September as planned. Now, obviously, the box office numbers for F9 and Black Widow have not been as strong as they would have been pre-pandemic, and that's a given, and studios know that, and with a lot of venues at reduced capacity, or countries in various stages of lockdown, or just public reluctance to return to cinemas, it's going to be a good while before we see another billion-dollar movie, I think. And for context, in 2019, nine films made more than a billion dollars worldwide. 2019 obviously being the last time that cinemas worldwide were operating at uh, full capacity, let's say. And yet despite that, I think that movie studios are keen to kind of get the all rolling again. There are some hybrid releases, obviously. Black Widow, for instance, you could either go to the cinema to see it or watch it at home on some kind of premium access thing. Obviously, with No Time to Die, there's currently no plans for them to do any kind of hybrid release like that. They have very much said that it's cinemas or nothing for this, but at the rate things are going, at the rate things are releasing, it's looking kind of good for No Time to Die, surely. However, we are, of course, dealing with COVID here, and it's an unpredictable little fella at the best of the time, so uh, once again, I, I don't suppose I'll have any confidence that I've actually seen No Time to Die until I'm sat in a cinema and the credits are rolling at the very end. Something that I'm particularly curious about, um, and this has been in the news uh, worldwide, I think, recently, um, that here in the UK, or, or England at least, um, they've lifted all legal COVID-related restrictions um, across the country, so there is no legal requirement to wear masks, um, and venues are deciding their own kind of social distancing or mask wearing uh, rules, and um, that could affect things massively. I can't tell you how lovely it is living in a countrywide petri dish experiment in uh, herd immunity. But this does mean that all of the medical experts, all of the politicians are saying that, well, COVID cases are going to rise throughout the country because there's no restrictions, nightclubs have reopened and all that kind of stuff, and they're braced for more cases. They know it's coming. Um, I, the, the hope is obviously that enough people are vaccinated that the health system won't be um, overburdened. And obviously I don't want to get too much into talking about the whole COVID health political system. This is a Bond channel and at the end of the day all I want to do is see uh, uh, the new Bond film. I just want to see it on a big screen. Um, if I can do that safely uh, and securely then great. But obviously uh, <laughs> You know, th th this could have an effect on the release of No Time to Die, particularly because England in particular has done this whole no restriction thing. Um... And it's a gamble. I think the politicians have said as much <laughs> that, uh, yeah, a, a new variant could come out or, 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 or whatever. But I'm kind of curious to know that if things do go very badly with this whole unlocking and the UK and England specifically have to go on some kind of lockdown again, Will that affect the release of No Time to Die? How would it be if cinemas were open in so many other parts in the world, in most of Europe, in America, and so on, but the UK they had closed cinemas? What would that do to this film? Obviously, this is Bond's home country, and I would assume that they would want to have the premiere here no matter what. I think we all heard those rumours that Wembley was potentially being touted as a venue for um, the premiere, but I've, I've heard nothing official <laughs> on, on, on that since. Um, I don't think anyone has. And it would obviously be a compromised release if they had to do, like, cinemas everywhere else, but here in the UK they were closed, so they had to do some kind of premium access. You, know, you pay 20 quid or whatever on Amazon Prime, and you see the film that way. Now, if this was, like, last year or something, I think we would all just be counting down to some kind of postponement if things do go badly in the UK, but if things do go badly in the UK, I'm not sure they'd postpone again, providing that other markets were still kind of open and willing. They just postponed this thing so many times that I think to, to do that again, 
I just, ah, uh, I, I don't know. And particularly as it's been some time since we've heard of any of the big budget tentpole things postponing. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see how the next few weeks go anyway. Speaking personally, and I've said this in pretty much every No Time To Die postponement video that I've made, so long as I can see the film safely at the cinema, uh, the correct procedures are in place, I have my vaccines and everything, that is my ideal way to see it. As soon as the tickets go on sale for IMAX, I'm gonna be there. If I missed out on that, I would obviously be very, very upset, but I, I'm just so ready for this film to come out. I don't think that's going to come as a surprise to many people. Um, have you seen this channel? Even at the start of 2020, for some reason, I don't know if it's just because Bond films traditionally come out in the autumn months here. So October, November is when I'm kind of used to gearing up and going to the cinema and uh, seeing the Bond films. But, but even at the start of 2020, even before the postponement, there was something about the build-up to the film that didn't feel quite real. I was still hyped for it, but it just never felt like it was... You know, and I'm not suggesting there's any kind of psychic, I'm definitely not doing some kind of solitaire clairvoyance here, but for some reason I just didn't, there was just always this little thing that just didn't feel quite ready for it. In me, anyway. And then with the postponements, I think I, I think I did hold out hope for that first postponement date, like, and then as the months kind of ticked along, it was like, okay, this doesn't look very likely. The next postponement that they made was like, a, well, this is never going to happen. And then th this one finally felt like, oh yeah, that might actually, with, with vaccines in circulation and countries kind of adapting and the industry adapting, like, oh wow, yeah, no, this might actually happen. And I think if this film were to get postponed again, that would be particularly crushing. Um, and obviously, who knows what the global situation will be. Um, and if we have to wait again, we have to wait again. Um, I just really hope we don't. Only time will tell, and in the meantime, I'm very excited and very hopeful that the promotional machine will start getting back into gear soon. Um, I mean, we are just a couple of months away. I'm expecting we're going to see some trailers, some posters. Obviously, the official podcast is coming. Um, there's going to be interviews, products. I've got my fingers crossed for all of those. As far as that promotional stuff goes, though, I think they're going to be doing a lot of... I don't think it's going to be like that first postponement when um, they kind of changed the marketing quite a bit. The first marketing campaign was a lot of teal and um, it was earthy colours, uh, and then they just went with this whole black, white, and gold thing. I think they're going to stick with that, or at least that's, you know, they updated that poster with the new release date, so I'm assuming that, that though, that's the one with all the big placards that I'm seeing people posting in cinemas, so I think they're just going to go with that. As far as trailers go, I, d I don't know if they'll just re-release, like, another couple, um, because I don't think they want to give way too many clips. I mean, we've already had a clip from the film when uh, Craig was on, I think, was it Jimmy Kimmel or uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, one of the Jimmys, <laughs> one of the chat show hosts in America, and they just showed that clip. And I, I think they're going to want to keep a lid on anything new coming out. And I think that's probably in their favour, to be honest. I don't think that, obviously, Bond fanatics like us <laughs> you know, watch these things over and over and over again. And uh, dare I say, we slow down the trailers and go through them frame by frame in some instances. They know that they've got our money anyway. Like, I'm obviously going to be going and seeing this film. But as far as general movie audiences go, they might not necessarily remember the exact you know, what the, if, if they change a few shots around in, for a new trailer, that's probably not going to make that much of a difference to your general public who are just seeing a trailer and thinking, oh, that looks good, I might go and see that. So I don't think we're going to see that much difference in, in terms of the trailer content. But I think we might get another, like, clip or two, or maybe they'll just reuse that clip that they showed on that Jimmy something chat show, um, because I think that was the only chat show where that debuted, so um, that'll be interesting to see. If I had to articulate, if I had to, if I had to quantify how confident I am that the film will come out this year, if I had to put a percentage on it, I would say that I am probably 60-65% on, on the side of it will come out in some form. I, I don't know if I don't know if they could dare postpone it again, unless the worldwide situation is horrifically bad, which, um, which who knows. But I will say that that has gone down slightly. If you'd have asked me this about a month ago, I would maybe have said 70-75%. Um, now I'm kind of 60-65. We'll see. I mean, I'm, I, I have some hope. Do let me know in the comment section below what you think, sort of like, if you want to put, put a number on it, actually, if you could, because I'm really curious to see if there is some kind of consensus on this, if perhaps I'm being too optimistic. A lot of my Bond fan friends um, that I speak to about it are 
I, I think most people seem to be 50-50 on whether or not it's uh, it's going to come out. And uh, maybe we're just all too used to postponements now. Maybe maybe I'm being too negative. Maybe I should be a bit more like 80-90% certain. But um, yeah, we'll see. And I'll be curious to see how if um, certain countries are doing worse with the COVID rates and deaths than other places. Will there be some kind of hybrid release developed? Who knows? But um 10 weeks to go, folks. I think it's going to be a dramatic 10 weeks, you know. I, I mean, I'm going to be biting my nails until I see those end credits roll. I think I, even if I'm, like, in line with my ticket, <laughs> I'm waiting for the person. To, I have no... I, I won't have confidence that someone isn't going to burst through a door shouting that everyone needs to evacuate the cinema immediately and they can't play the film. I would uh, not... <laughs> I wouldn't put anything past... Uh, past this god but hey we'll see i mean as bond fans as i always say we're very lucky that there is an abundance of bond related content out there for us to to all enjoy in fact i just started rereading the john gardner books <laughs> finally picked up where i left off last year so expect that review to come at some point in the future so yes in summary if i uh, had to put a number on it it would be 60 65 percent i feel like the film is gonna come out i feel like the promotional gears are going to get turning um, and then we'll be in crunch time in about five weeks, I think. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I think if they are going to postpone, again, it will be within the next five or six weeks. I think once we get beyond that, I think we might be fairly certain that it's actually going to come out in some form, but... Hey, we'll see. So yes, please let me know your thoughts on this situation in the comment section below. Also below, you can find links to my social media pages, my Facebook page, my Twitter page, and my Patreon page. And also, please do consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the Mrs. Bell button to keep up with, get notifications on future uh, video uploads that I make on this channel. So with all that being said, stay safe and so long for now, Bond fans.